Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to another video and if you can see by the blanket spread out before us, it is going to be another decluttering video. So today I've decided to tackle my closet and I don't expect to get through all of it today. In fact, I'm not planning to either. Uh, today our goal is to get through all of my shirts. Uh, so I know I do have some stored away for summer, so I'm not going to get out those. Uh, but I know I have t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, and sweaters that are all um, in my closet right now, and I do want to go through all of those. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and go through those, and uh, I have been reading KonMari's uh, Spark Joy, which kind of like helps you go through the decluttering process and really helps you to evaluate uh, does this item spark joy in my life? Is it something that brings me joy? Or is it, you know, just something that I don't really feel joyful about when I see it? Is it something that uh, I feel like adds value to uh, my wardrobe? And if it isn't, I do want to get rid of those things because I think it's important that the things that we own are things that we love. So I'll go ahead and get all of my stuff out and I will go ahead and just bring it out here and we can go through it together. I think it's always fun going ahead and talking through this process because I know there are always some tough decisions to be made and I feel like if you're going through it with somebody else that it can really, uh, you know, just give you an opportunity to, uh, I guess, just have accountability as you're going through the process. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so that's everything and boy is there a lot of it. I guess we're just going to go ahead and go ahead and start. I have a lot of my bulky sweaters here some t-shirts and long sleeve shirts here, a couple more sweaters, and these are like my nicer shirts that I'll usually like wear to work or wear out. Let's start off with some t-shirts. Got a pretty chunky amount right there. So this is a men's size small, just a regular t-shirt. I wear this a lot to bed and I just like oversized t-shirts, so I think I'll keep that one. Red long sleeve shirt that I don't really wear so I think we can go ahead and donate that we have this is just like a long sleeve hoodie tee from a fall retreat that I did um, to be honest like I wear this for sleeping a ton and it's extremely soft so I think we'll go ahead and keep that <laughs> this is just like a woman's extra large t-shirt I don't think it really sparks joy so we'll go ahead and donate that this I used to love, but it is so thin. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see? Maybe not. Just how, yeah, see how thin that material is? It's crazy. Um, it's really hard for me to wear this without it looking super weird. So I think that I'm probably just going to donate that t-shirt with like a heather on it. This is extremely soft and I love gray. So I think we'll keep that for now. This is a Simply Vera Wang t-shirt, which is really cute. I did wear this an awful lot over the summer. We'll keep it, I'll put that in a maybe pile because at the same time it's not the most flattering fit. So we'll come back to that one. Okay, this shirt shrunk in the wash and is just a weird fit. I love the color and it's really soft, but other than that, I'm not huge. It's also extremely see-through. Um, I know that's not really showing up on camera, but for me that makes a big difference because it means I have to wear stuff under it and I hate wearing stuff under things, so probably skip that one. Okay, I do have a couple of shirts that I use for exercising. There's this one, which a friend of mine actually designed, so I'm going to keep that. That's more, I'm probably going to put that in a separate place just for exercise clothes. Uh, just because, you know, there's some stuff that I might not wear on a regular basis, but I'll definitely wear for exercising. This one, I don't think that I still need. We have this guy right here, and my dad and I, it's like a galaxy print shirt. 
um, and whether I'm using it for exercising or sleeping or just on a really casual day. Um, my dad and I have a matching shirt, so I love this one. Definitely not getting rid of that one. I have two, they're both maroon, slightly different colors, but not super different. Uh, T-shirts, I feel like I should probably not keep both of them. This one says it's an organic cotton blend, which I think is really cool. And then, I don't know what this one is. This one's polyester and rayon. I, uh, I do feel like this one actually might even be more flattering, so I think I will go ahead and donate this one, and we will keep this one. We have this little hoodie here, which is soft and comfortable, but literally made for somebody who's 12. And that's when I wore it. So I don't know why I still own this, given that it's like, what, eight years later. We have this shirt, which is another kind of a casual shirt, and this is from one of my favorite bands. Uh, so I'll definitely keep that one. Same goes for this Harry Potter shirt. My family and I are like all closet Harry Potter nerds, <laughs> so um, I'll probably keep that one too. We have, this is an Urban Outfitters. It's kind of a weird looking shirt, but it's actually pretty good looking on me, I think. Obviously this isn't the right time of year to be wearing it, but I think I'll keep it because I did wear it last summer. But I might revisit it in the spring. And then this one is pretty similar, just a t-shirt version. But it has a super, super low neck, which just irritates me, to be quite honest. So I think we'll donate that. Okay, moving on to the next pile, guys. This is going fast. We have a, yeah, marmot uh, sweater. It's extremely soft and great for skiing hiking, life, it's just really amazing and I love it. So we'll probably put that separate from the t-shirts. We have a long sleeve shirt from Old Navy and I think I'll keep this one maybe, maybe. Nah, I'll, I'll go ahead and donate this one. I see some other stuff that's basic and gray like all of my other wardrobe. Uh, this one is a Sonoma top with like a little sleeve detail and I love wearing this even if it's super casual because look at that that is so pretty so I think for now we will keep it this is an athletic long sleeve shirt which I wear for athletic purposes and also casual purposes keep that uh, there's a huge theme with my clothing being gray and yeah uh, what can I say it's true it's just a black basic t-shirt. It's great for layering. I'm going to Canada next week. In Canada, you need layers in the winter. It's just a thing you need to stay warm, so uh, I need some. <laughs> okay, we have this really pretty kind of, um, I don't know if you can tell it, it's like watercolor flowers. I do like it, but I think I'm probably going to donate this one. I haven't worn it yet and it has been a couple of months since it got cold um, which means that I'm probably not going to reach for it again in the next little while. have this thermal which is extremely soft and comfortable and it looks great on me and it's getting um, some snags in it so I know it's not going to last that much longer but as long as I can use it I will keep it. I have an old navy striped long sleeve shirt that I don't really wear, so I think it's time to donate that. Okay guys, getting down to the good stuff. I don't know why this is in my winter wardrobe, but it's just like a no sleeve shirt with pretty pattern. I do really like this and I think this is out for the wrong season, but I am going to keep it because I think I'll wear it when it is in season. Um, same thing goes for this guy, it's pretty much brand new and it's just like a burgundy lace no sleeve shirt. We have this one which is a little bit too big for me but I love the white lace. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Once again I my fancier shirts I tend to keep out all year round just because it's a pain to store them. So I think I will also keep that one. Same thing goes for this guy right here. It's just a turquoise pale blue thing. Um, and I wear these for um, to, I go to work in them, uh, when I go to church, 
um, to any events, things like that is where I'll wear them. Uh, this is uh, from Anthropology, and it's got, uh, like, it's very cute, but it's not very flattering on me. So I think we can go ahead and donate this one. We have this guy from The Loft, and it's got these tiny little leaves on it, which is really cute. I like that a lot. I think we will keep this one, although, like I said, when the spring comes, I might reevaluate. From Topshop, and it has this really cool detailing on it that I like a lot. And so I think we'll go ahead and keep that one. Once again, super flattering on me. It's like a three-quarter length sleeve. So definitely not to be worn in the winter, but still really cute. This was given to me recently. It's just got like a little lace at the bottom. This is a sweater, um, but we'll keep that. Same thing I think is going to go for this cardigan. I really enjoy wearing this and I do wear it pretty frequently. Uh, this one, the dilemma. This is like a very professional striped shirt. While I have worn a lot of professional stuff in the past, that's not exactly where I'm at. So I love how there's like some like different pinstripe going on here. If I'm probably not going to pick it up on this camera, but it's really beautiful. I haven't really had the opportunity to wear it in well over a year though. Even though I do really like it, I think I am going to donate this one. We have, uh, it's a very pretty uh, thermal from Altered State and it's like a really rosy pink color. This one I absolutely just love, so we will definitely keep that. Okay, we have this really pretty shirt, and in the back I love it because it's just like a couple layers of chiffon, so you feel like you're like floating when you wear it. I think we'll go ahead and keep this one, although I will maybe, oh, there's a stain on it. I think I'm probably going to see if we can get the stain out, and if not, I will do, I'll donate it but hopefully I will be able to. Okay, this is a cardigan, which is super huge, and I definitely enjoy wearing, but I haven't really been wearing actually as much this season. The one thing I've discovered is that I definitely love wearing long sweaters as opposed to long sleeve shirts for the vast majority of the time. I think I'm gonna give this one a try. If I haven't worn it um, a few more times by the end of the winter, I will donate it. We have this really pretty shirt from, I think it's Lauren Conrad. I do really like it. I'm thinking maybe we'll keep this one. Actually, we'll, we'll put it in this maybe pile. That's a better idea. Maybe pile it is. Okay, this is the cardigan, which I used to really like, and it's very comfortable and soft, but I just don't really wear it. And so I think that means that I probably bought it for the comfort factor and not necessarily for the appearance factor which means that I should probably donate it. This is a sweater which I literally wear all the time and absolutely love, so we'll keep that. This is exercise clothes. We're down to like the very end of it now, guys. Exercise clothes, definitely need those, and especially since that's probably the only like athletic fleece-lined top I have. Just a simple sweater, very fall colors. I really like that, that's beautiful. Same thing, I believe it's true of this sweater right here. It did unfortunately shrink in the wash, which I'm extremely sad about, but it's definitely still fits. So we'll go ahead and keep that one. I don't know how many of these I'll actually get rid of because I do wear these like all the time. This is the sweater I got engaged in. It is from Anthropology, or no, Free People, not Anthropology. Um, so I'll keep that one. This guy right here is from H&M and it's kind of crops at a weird place. So I think I'm probably going to donate that one. We have kind of like a ski style sweater, which I do wear for skiing. Um, and also just around Christmas time, I think that it's kind of a, a little festive and fun. So keep that. We have this guy right here, which is a sweater I stole from my brother's closet. And I have no idea where it's from, but it's amazing and I wear it all the time. I have this thing about wearing oversized men's sweaters, guys. It's, it's a problem. This one, I love. It looks slightly childish because it's got two cute little bunnies. But they're, even the bunnies are soft. So I think I will keep this one. This one right here though, 
I have a tendency to reach for all the time because it has this very pretty like lace detailing and it's a knit sweater. But every time I reach for it, I always end up wearing something else. So I think we will probably donate this one and hopefully somebody can get good use of it. Okay guys, last few things even though it looks like I'm still surrounded by stuff. We have this gigantic oversized sweater and uh, do I ever wear this out? Not really. Do I wear this all the time around the house? Yes. For that reason, I think I'll keep it. It's the warmest thing ever and when I'm cold during the winter, I, what can I say? I really like it. So we'll keep that. And then I just have two drug rugs, which I don't really wear during the winter, but I like wearing a lot during the summer. I have this one right here and this one right here. What can I say? I like drug rugs um, or Baja hoodies or whatever they're calling them these days. Uh, I do wear these a lot when I go either to the beach or campfires or camping or uh, lots of different situations. and. Probably more of like a spring-fall type of a thing, but definitely get a lot of use out of these, so I think we'll keep these. The two final things we're coming back to are this guy and this guy, so I think I've sat on this, decided to donate it. This one, I think I do want to keep this one, but I think I'm wanting to donate this one instead, so... Um, they're kind of very similar, even if they don't have a similar silhouette, they do have a similar style to them, I suppose. This right here is our donate pile right now. Just going to kind of go through everything one last time. Uh, let's see here. Just kind of looking at it, I'm trying to think, like, what sparks joy. This one isn't really doing it for me right now. Last time I wore it, I was kind of unhappy with kind of it's unflattering silhouette so even though it's definitely like it's very pretty I think we'll donate that one okay guys so sum total I have eight sweaters I have five shirts for working out in I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, summer and winter shirts that I can wear to work, events, church, things like that. I have two sleeping long sleeve shirts and I have seven summer t-shirts uh, slash layering shirts. I know I do have a few extra summer t-shirts um, stored away for the summer so I'll go through those later. I do have two Baja hoodies and that's the sum total of it. I think we are at close to uh, what there's probably around 30 shirts that I own right now. Uh, we're donating close to 20 right now. Uh, so I have gone through my clothes once previously so I did get rid of several shirts then. Uh, I feel really good that we're getting rid of almost half now and hopefully that will only continue. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I would love to know if you guys have gone through and decluttered your closet. If so, what was the hardest item for you to get rid of? For me, it was probably that pinstripe uh, shirt that even though I love the design of it, I know that I'm probably not going to use for quite a few years. So, I, yeah, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, I would absolutely love it if you would give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And finally, if you would consider subscribing to my channel, I would so incredibly appreciate that. I hope that you guys have an amazing day, and I want you to remember to live intentionally and to live well. Bye!